Aram invaded our home with his soldiers. He desired all our wealth to pay for his army and his war, no doubt. My husband objected naturally, even without a thought, Baram. He cut my husband down, murdered him. I still remember his laughter as he took my children, all nine of them. He turned uh, me out of my home. Once he was done with it, he burned it to the ground. Now my husband's dead, and that fiend holds my children. I know nothing of their fate and have nothing left to know where to run. That is my tale, sir. <sighs> it's very sad. Aye, it is very sad. I would do anything to have my children back, but Baram will not even see me. And no one can help. Perhaps I could help. Could you? I would give anything to, ha to have my children safe from that fiend, or at least at least know they're all right. I could reward you. I have no corn here, but my husband had saved, had some saved. Uh, I know where it is. I could tell you. It would be enough, I think. Very well. I will help you. Glad to hear it. Have you any questions for me? Okay. You know where your children might be. No. I've heard no news, and Barem will tell me nothing. He is the only one who would know where they are. Okay. Bram have enemies. Other high captains. Okay. I'll go now. Giving me a glimmer of hope. I wish you the best of luck. Okay. Let's ransack the rest of this place and then head on out of here. Scooch. You know what I mean? Hey. Continue the collection of our cure critical. <laughs> Never in short supply. Never in short supply. Out of the 40 I have, you gotta know it's good. Alright. So, nothing into the Jade Estate. We go across here, that's probably where the, uh... Actual... The Wink and Tickle, huh? Interesting name. There's Bella, Black Knives customers, brothel mercenaries. Why, hello there, darling. Come for a bit of fun, have you? What kind of place is this? Place of pleasure, dear man. There are men and women who can take your mind away from the terrible world outside for a time. Uh Who are you? My name is Bella, darling. I keep my boys and girls safe and the customers happy. If you're ever unhappy, you come see me. I'll change your mind, you'll see. Now you have me at a disadvantage, however. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. Oh, real charmer. I'm here to get my wink tickled. <laughs> that was my exact thought, too. <laughs> it's like, out of all the names, that's the one you went with, huh? Real charmer. I like that in a man. I bet you wouldn't pass out drunk before I even knew we, before I even knew we were started, would you, darling? But that's neither here nor there. Is there something that Bella can do for you? We have satin, we have wine, we have pickles, anything you like. Pickles? It's for the gnomes. They like their pickles sour and their women tall. Don't ask why. Okay. I ask you some questions. Uh, how can you run this place without all, with all the fighting going on? Well, probably because people don't attack it because it's where they get off. <laughs> it's not like I have much of a choice. The high captains all want a place that keeps their men happy, so they make sure we don't close down. And besides, a very happy soldier is much, much better than a very unhappy soldier. You take my meaning, sugar? We still give most of our gold to each of the high captains to keep the peace. It's better living most these than most these days. Okay. Okay, she's telling me what all is going on. Okay. Goodbye. And for now, we loot. Fancy chest. Ouch. Dang. That was like... That was with my reflex save. Lever of stone. 
What? That's interesting. Lever of stone. Mercenaries, courtesans, there's herb over in the corner there. <laughs> Cough, cough. Sorry, I'm just looking for stuff to loot. Sorry, sorry. Hey, Rain, what's up? Well, hello to you. I don't entertain here right now. I'm reserved to go elsewhere, whether I like it or not, so please leave me alone. You don't seem happy about that. I'm not a fan of the high captains, and I would rather not serve their whims if I had a say in it. I do what I'm told, however. Why would you serve the High Captains if you don't want to? Look, I don't want to get into any trouble, and talking about the High Captains is nothing but trouble. I won't tell anyone what you say. Fine, I guess I don't really... It doesn't really matter, I'll tell you what I know. High Captain Barum uh, and High Captain Kurth hold us hostage, practically. Miss Bella has to do what they tell her, or they shut us all down. They make us slaves or worse. Orith, uh and I have to go to high captain's bases and put on a show or do whatever else they want. We despise it, but there's nothing we can do about it. Miss Del Bella does her best to help us, but there's nothing she nor we can do about it. I just, I just wish someone would visit a painful, horrible death upon those men. Uh, then this would be all over. Hmm. And someone were willing to help you. I'd gladly tell them whatever they knew. I mean, those bastards' deaths. How do I find Kurth then? Kurth is in the West Docks district. His men come out uh, of a gap broken in the wall. I don't suggest you use that. There's an opening in the ruins of his old tower. Okay, it's what I use when I must go and see him. You need a key to go into his basement through the tower door. I have a key, which you can use aside if you want it. Yes, give me the key. Take it. It's a copy I made. You must be careful, however. They know me, but Kurt's men will assume you are an assassin if they see you inside the base. I don't know what your plans are, truly, but I have a feeling that Kurt won't like it either way. Where do I find Barum? Barum has a base within the sewer of the city, full of his troops and undead monsters conjured by his sorcerer allies. The main gate is through the sewer entrance on the, e the island east and south of here. His base is heavily fortified, but not impregnable. Uh, there's a back entrance that is not well known about. It's through the sewer grate just to the west of the brothel, by the stores. It's the entrance I use when I go to see him. Yes, give me the key. Should unlock the gratings. They'll think you're assassin if they spot you. I don't presume to know your business, but kill that bastard if you can. I'll be happy to know when his days are at an end. Can they be reasoned with? I don't know. They might make a deal with you if they thought it would put them ahead of the other high captain somehow. Whether they'd bother keeping that deal is another matter. Okay. I said Gilda didn't uh, warn me about this, so. <laughs> Hello. Ah, sorry, I'm intruding. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I'll be out. I just a second. I'm ju just a second. I'll, I'll be out in just a minute. I look. I just, just give me, give me a second. Give me a second, and I'm gone, like the wind. I'll even, you know, I'll even. There. Okay, so we have at least one person in here that is named. And this my boy Herb in the corner there. Ooh. Reflexes. Okay. Did I look at this yet? I think I may have looked at the barrel, but I don't know if I looked at this. I'll check the barrel too, just in case. Is this lad here for our conversation? Or does he have some gnome fetish that I dare not even ask about? <laughs> I'm hoping for the former, but being a quality gnome like myself, uh, anything is possible. <laughs> yeah, not interested. Um, you one of the brothel's men. I most certainly am an expert at making the lasses smile. Ever since that fateful day when Miss Bella spotted a naive young gnome wandering into this fine city with naught but a sack of turnips on his back, in fact. Okay. Uh. Oh. He does have information. 
At first, I thought I was only a guest here, a well-treated one, I might add, although the tips struck me as <laughs> a bit odd. Overall, it's been a fine job. I'm far better off than my uncle Fedard uh, Jansen ever was. Uh, who is he? Um, that's what they all say these days. I told him that wind contraption would never fly. For all I know, he's still at the bottom of the canyon. Okay. A chest connoisseur. Ah, yes, those were the days, weren't they? Making uh, proper chests was once a noble profession. Uh, there were pieces of art, I tell you, and not these flimsy things they make with today's two-bit gnome thief and a half a mind could pick. Not that I'm insinuating anything. As a young little gnome in Culver, all I thought about were fine chests and the living would make off of them. Alas, it was not to be. A pleasuring woman is all I'm about now. Hmm. Looking for work, do you know of any? Well, now call me a halfling, but I actually have a job you could do for me. A little errand that is a mite dangerous to perform with the street the way streets the way they are. Tell me about the job. How shall I explain this? Well, one of my clients, a handsome noble woman uh, by the name of Lady Jadale, has something that technically belongs to me. Technically, I suppose it belongs to her since I gave it to her, but I want it back. It's a ring, a little favor that I bestowed upon her that has my name inscribed. Just get it back from her and, uh, just get it away from her and back in my hands and I'll be a happy little gnome. Why do you need the ring? Well, you see, the gift was a bit impetuousness, a bit of impetuousness on my part. Lady Dale's husband is a rather powerful man, a fact I forgot at the height of my passion. When Lord Jadale returns, I don't need his wife sporting my ring. He is rather renowned for his temper, and I'm rather sh fond of my legs, short though they may be. The Lady Jadale is, shall we say, rather oblivious to the fact that her husband may not be too fond of me when she discovers the ring, when he discovers the ring. She has less sense than an elf in a shoe store, I tell you. Yeah, I'm interested in it. I'll do it. Excellent. You'll find Lady Jadale's home not far from here. Go back towards the city gate and turn right, and you'll see the Cutlass Inn just by the south walls. Lady Jadale's home is just west of the inn. Do be kind to her, though, if you can. I don't wish any harm on the dotty woman. I just don't want any harm to come my way. Okay. Questions about this job. Uh, okay, never mind. Okay, cool. We have everything we need then. Time to open up a handful of more rooms. Oreth? Wait. Why does that name sound familiar? We just heard someone in Yvette. Hello. Well, hello to you. Have you come in my room? I'm not entertaining today. My heart simply wouldn't be in it. What's the problem? I had a baby, sir, with a client. I didn't mean to, but it happened when my little daughter was the joy of my life when I had her. Uh, the father, however, Galrone, he does not believe I would make a proper mother. He took my daughter away and will not return her. I wish I would pay to get my child back. You'd be a proper mother? I could. I know I could. Miss Bella has put aside much of the coin I've earned here. I want to leave Luskin and go back home to raise my daughter proper. I have enough money to pay you and still make a good life for her. Please, please help me. Why does he want the baby? I don't know. Galrone is a haughty and sometimes cruel man. I didn't think he'd ever want to know about the child. Never mind, want it. it frightens me to think that he, what he might do to her. Please, if you get her back, I will reward you. Hmm, I could help you. That's wonderful news. Galrone is in the house to the north in the slums, though I have no idea if he's remained there with all this fighting. Please, do whatever you can to get my daughter back. Just don't hurt Galrone, please. If you can avoid it. Uh, he is still my child's father. Okay. Okay. And last, Orieth. Orieth. How do you say his name? Hello. Somehow... I think you've got the wrong room, sir. Please leave me be. Who are you? My name is Orith, one of Miss Bella's male courtesans. I'm not working today, so I'm asked that you leave again. Why aren't you working? Not interested in any of your questions. I must ask you to leave me be. Now, please, Miss Bella has enough girls to keep you entertained, I'm sure. Okay.
Ma'am, I'm just here for your chest. You know, they call me the chest connoisseur. <laughs> uh. God, we're getting a lot of quests here. This is still chapter two, by the way. In case you're curious. In case you're curious, we're still in chapter two. <laughs> oh, man. This game is so much longer than I was really expecting it to be. Oh wait, this is her house. Not that, this is her house. All right, let's see if I can talk with her about it. See if I can persuade her. Hey, there she is, Lady Jail. Hold on. What do you got here for me? Anything else? It's a common chest. Gil, does this look trapped to you? That looks safe. Okay. All right, let's talk to uh, let's talk to her, see what she wants. Right after we break this other chest open. I shall do as you ask. It is done. I just love the fact that these guys just sit here and take a look at what's going on. Just like watch us break through chests and rummage through their things. Welcome to my home. Is there something I can do for you? Can I ask you some questions? Uh, you came in my home to question me. All right, go ahead. I'll speak with you about Herb's ring. Uh, you know about the ring Herbie gave me? Oh, Herbie must have sent you, I guess. Well, I don't know what he's asking is very fair. Uh... Irby's just being silly. He gave me his ring because he loves me, and I'm not giving it back because he hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. Be reasonable. Let's talk about this, shall we? Maybe we could work out some kind of deal. Not going to sell it, if that's what you mean. There's no price you can put on my love for Irby. Be reasonable. Let's talk about this, shall we? Talk about what? I don't think there's anything to discuss. What about your husband? What will he think of the ring? Oh, if he even notices it at all, first he would have to come home. Irby is just overreacting. What do you think Herb wants a ring back? I don't know. Maybe he loves me so much that it scares him. Herb doesn't love you. Let me assure you. He doesn't, but... I. Oh. <sighs> There's something else, isn't there? He wants to give the ring to someone else. That pig. <laughs> I should keep the ring, then. It's pretty, and that pig of a gnome doesn't deserve it back. You really want to keep the ring of a man who doesn't love you. Ha! Huh, I get expensive gifts all the time from my husband, don't I? This ring is mine now. Maybe we could work out some kind of a deal. A thousand? God, I've only got 208,000. I can't afford money like that. Just, it's just you're burning a hole in my pocket. How about 250? How about 400? Oh, fine, fine, I'll take it for 400. Yeah, just give me a moment. Yeah, here it is, take it and go. I'm sure we don't have anything else to discuss. Hello. Okay, God, really bleeding me dry here. 400 gold. Think I just can pull that money out of anywhere? Come on now. Jeez. God, I almost dipped below 208,000. I can't believe it. That was the reason why I have this kind of money is because I don't spend it on anything. <sighs> I'm a rich man. But, uh, that does, doesn't mean I'm not going to persuade you to get a cheaper price. <laughs> nice moonwalking. Thanks, man. Thanks. You know I'm all about that life. How goes the search? Tell me you have the ring. <laughs> My third toe has been itching like mad. Oh, and well, that means all this fighting could stop at any second. Okay, weirdo. I have this ring. I have the ring right here. Have you ever managed to convince the woman to give it up? Never mind. I probably don't want to know. As my blind Aunt Binny said when she married unfortunate Uncle Bucktooth, ignorance is bliss. I seem to recall some mention of reward. Yes, of course. I did say that, didn't I? Never let it be said that Herb reneged on his promise. 
unlike my poor, deranged, and thrice-married Aunt Fanny. Hmm. Where was I? Oh yes, here's 500 gold pieces. It wasn't easy to get this, you know. I think you could spare a little more. Ah, I'll take another 100. So I still made like 200 on it. I suppose you probably do deserve something extra. I don't imagine Lady Jadale was all that pleasant to deal with. When she gets excited, she's a bit pluckier than a griffin without its tail feathers. Here's another hundred. And now I must take my leave for a brief while in case Lady Judale tries to look me up or worse. Uh, it's a really good thing gnomes are short and easy to hide. Farewell, friend. Alright, bye. Goodbye. Adios, amigo. Adios. Man, I can't believe it's already Saturday, man. It's like 2 p.m. on Saturday, too. The heck am I going? <laughs> all right, let's just uh, let's get all the stuff written out here. The slums, huh? Yikes, just a lot of, a lot of Zambos in here, a lot of Zambos in here. That's pretty good range right there. Get him, gang! I have a feeling this is trapped. Step behind me. Follow my friend. Shall do as you nope. Ask. Maybe that's why the guy was dead, because he's the one that set off the trap. That would make sense. That would make sense. Blindness and deafness removal, I'll take that. I shall do as you ask. By the gods of undeaded, come for us, please save us powers above. Hey guys. Good tidings to ya. Don't hurt me, haven't we had enough? I'm an adventurer looking for information. I don't mean any harm. Uh, I suppose you don't seem the bad sort. You just startled me so. With all the soldiers rampaging around, I assumed. Well, what did you want from me? Why are you here? Are you so frightened? I said I wouldn't hurt you. I know. Yeah, it's just that the soldiers have been rampaging through the streets for week, weeks now. They take what they like. If they think you can fight, they force you to join one of the high captain's armies, or they kill you. And, and the gods forbid that they think you're working for one of the other high captains. Tell me about them. Okay, so pretty much, is there nobody to stop all this? No, maybe the wizards? I don't know. What wizards? The wizards of the Arcane Brotherhood. They live in the big tower on the island at the mouth of the river. I don't know any more about them, I swear. They're just supposed to be real powerful is all. Okay. Careful on the streets, they'll kill you if you're spotted. Guessing he's probably in the same boat. What? Please, we've nothing. You've beaten Rob so many times, you just wish to be left alone. Okay, well, I'm not going to beat you, but I did rob you again. It's all right. Is what I do, baby. <laughs> I just... I just take whatever I can find. Hey! Good business to you. By Uthgar's blood. Don't worry, I'm getting rid of all the undead. She's taking a tax is all. Just a quick little tax. All 12 of your gold pieces. Probably more zombos in here. Ah, more of Baram's mercenaries, huh? Now oh, they're turning into were rats. Get 'em, gang. <laughs> this is like without any of the DR buffs and stuff, so you know. They're doing alright. They're doing alright. 
the safe kitty? I shall do as you ask. It is done. Okay. Okay, on the Luskin, so we did that. Is this Galron's home? Help, gang! Help! <laughs> that many were people would destroy a whole dwarven fortress. Ooh, that's a black knife sniper. Ouch! All right, this ain't working well. Ah! I'm dazed, brother. I'm dazed. Oh, I'm dazed. Let's get killed and back out here. Please, sir. I don't have any buffs for you right now. Please. So these are all just going to be like a lot of slum buildings then? Uh, ain't no traps out here. Let's get our buffs up and running, huh? How about that? How about we do a little bit of something like that? Actually, you know what? Honestly, yes. Is there... Let's let's get buffs up. And then I think I'm going to save and probably call it, because uh. It's uh it's been a six hour stream. <laughs> and uh. We'll clear this building out, and then, uh, and then probably call it, because, oh man, it's been over six hours, so I think I'm, uh, I got a lot of studying and stuff to do, so. We've had our fun in the meantime, though. of crafting a potion of of this would work as well. I don't know what all potions you can craft, though. I get in there, boys. Do as you ask. It is done. Greetings. Okay. Please don't hurt me. Haven't we had enough? I'm adventure looking for. <laughs> Man, he's just going, isn't he? <laughs> it's awesome. I'm adventure looking for information. I don't mean any harm. I suppose you don't seem the bad sort. You just startled me so. With all the soldiers rampaging around, I assumed. What'd you have for me? Why are you here? Okay, so he's saying pretty much the same thing the other woman did. Okay. Sorry, I broke down your guys' door. Oh, the perfect... The perfect... Cast. Wisdom plus three. Wiped out, son. Wiped out. 
All right. Uh... Yeah, I got him. I think I've looted all this stuff, yeah. Okay, so this building here should be his house. Yes, this should be his house. Okay, cool. We'll, uh, we'll pick this up later. We'll pick it up later. And, uh, about 8,000 away from, uh, leveling up, too. Look at us go. Look at us go.